you didn't talk about freedom of speech in, in Russia. You did not talk <laughs> about Navalny, about assassinations, about, about the restrictions on uh, opposition in the coming uh, elections. I didn't talk about the things that every other American media outlet talks about. Why? Exclusively. Yes, this because is my those question. are covered. And because I have spent my life talking to people who run countries in various countries and have mm. concluded the following that every leader kills people, including my leader. Every leader kills people. Some kill more than others. Leadership requires killing people, sorry. And you know, I, I think maybe we can set aside the idea that ah, I don't have to talk about all that stuff that would require hard questions because other people talked about it, even though I'm the one sitting in the room with the guy. And I specifically said, no one else even tried to do this. I'm in a unique position that I will not use to challenge his power in literally any way. But just, I, look, I don't believe in coincidence, I don't believe in divine intervention, but it almost lines up too good that he says a couple days ago, does it really matter if we kill people? Leaders kill people, you assassinate people, it doesn't matter. The important thing is if there's nice architecture in the capital, if bread is cheap, I guess. It doesn't matter if you if you take away people's rights, you literally murder them in the streets, as long as you have that stuff. And then literally while he's there doing propaganda for the Russian government, Navalny dies. Navalny, who's been this iconic figure, like a symbol of the uh, the crimes of Vladimir Putin, uh, and and he dies exactly at that time. Right? It just it seems too perfect in this context of this horrible tragedy that Tucker is there. And of course, Tucker is not going to realize that he's gone down a dark path. He knows what he's doing and what his goal is. Everything that he is saying is designed to get an American domestic audience to be okay with the idea of tyrannical rule here. With the idea that it doesn't matter what the leader does, who they kill. You don't want crime, right? And you want cheap bread, you know, just shut up and accept it. That's what all of this tour is designed to accomplish. Before we continue with the story, we depend on members to keep on going. Don't wait. Click join now on YouTube. Right, like the, the acceptable version of what uh, Tucker almost said is, listen, everybody's covered it, fine, I get that. Um, and he would, Tucker could say, and that I'd understand, it's like, what if, what is, if I ask him that question, what do you think he's gonna say? Oh, I did it, ah, oh, finally someone's here and asked me the question. And now I'm there, no, Tucker is definitely like terrified because he's a big old wimpy. He's lying about why he's there in the first place. And we all know the reason that he goes to Russia is what you're saying. Like he just wants people to slowly come around on a dictatorship. There's this weird, you know, there's no um, consistency in any of their positions. Uh, and, and he just is literally making excuses for, for um, Putin killing people. The, the, you have to kill people, guys. Like I understand that when it comes to we're in the middle of a war for you know any specific military initiative, people may die. Mm -hmm. There's risk involved in that. Like I can come around on plenty of applications of that. But this is no, I just have to kill the guy who's running against me. Yeah. That's, that's not that, that was what he was responding. He was not responding to a question about war. He was responding to a question about killing your political opponents. Yeah, you don't have to do. I hate to keep power. You have to do that, not to protect Russia. You don't have to do that. Yeah. Well, I will also say, look, I don't like Tucker. I don't agree with a lot that he says, but I do feel a little bit better coming out of this because honestly, I was very worried about the 2024 election. Seems like a bit of a coin flip. But Biden should just kill Trump, according to Tucker Carlson. He's the leader. Sometimes leaders have to kill people. You can't let this guy just come in and take your power. So you just kill him. That's that's what you do, you know. And Biden probably isn't gonna do that. Maybe we need someone tougher or something, you know, like like maybe like a president AOC just rounds up all right-wing pundits and kills them because suppression of press is okay. That's what leaders do, according to Tucker Carlson. And uh, you have to kill you sometimes you kill people, according to Tucker Carlson. Now, of course, he knows that no Democrat, no leftist is ever going to do that. All he's trying to do is get Republicans to be okay with it. All of this, I can just see this in the future. The idea that Tucker Carlson is looking forward to is we have a Trump or someone even worse, or maybe a Tucker Carlson as president. You go to Fox News and they're broadcasting people being lined up against a wall and being gunned down. And they want the person viewing it to be like, mm, and then just go back to watching Hulu or whatever. That's what they want. That is the goal. 
yeah. be okay with the horrors that we are cruising towards. And it should be, you just, it shouldn't bother you at all. That is what he is working to. He doesn't care about Russia. He's not moving to Russia or whatever. This is his eyes are facing towards America and towards the horrors that he is perfectly happy with coming to our borders. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.